Hey, I'm Stephanie Forian, and it's Tech Talk time. Tech Talk, Tech Talk, tech time tech, to talk tech, talk, tech, tech. Welcome to this week's episode of my web series on the techniques and technology behind the creative process. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to choose your first microphone. I remember when I was going out looking for my very first microphone, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know what questions to ask. And so when I ended up buying my first mic, it was just the one that I saw in all of the clubs that I was used to using, and that was the Shure SM58. Now, there is nothing wrong with that microphone. It's a classic. However, it doesn't really fit my voice. I personally think I sound like mud through that microphone. Um, so it wasn't the best choice for me. However, I didn't know that at the time. The way I came to realize that was by experience. And that means maybe spending a whole lot of money on your first microphone isn't necessarily the best choice because the more experienced you become and the more you discover your own sound, the more you're going to figure out what you want, the more you're going to know what you're looking for. And then when you do have some money to spend on a microphone, then you'll know exactly which one you want. The first thing I'd like to stress here is that a microphone can only hear what you perform into it. So your performance is always going to be the most important part of the signal chain, whether you're performing live or you're in the studio. So keep that in mind. If you are saving up for a microphone, use that time to really hone your performance. When you actually have a little bit of money in your hand and you can choose a microphone, think about what you're going to be recording and where you're going to be recording it. For example, are you going to be performing live? Live for the most part, or are you mainly going to be in your own project studio? Now at this point I'd like to talk about two different kinds of microphones. There's several different kinds out there, but the two most popular kinds are called dynamic microphones or condenser microphones. I'm going to be speaking in generalities now. There are exceptions to every rule, there's different uses for all sorts of different things, and there's, every microphone has its own characteristics. However, for the sake of simplicity, since this is a video for beginners, I'm going to keep things very basic. If you are a vocalist and you're going to be performing live for the most part, then I would suggest going with a dynamic microphone as your first choice. If you are going to be mostly recording your vocals in the studio, then I would go with a condenser microphone. And I will tell you why. A dynamic microphone tends to be a little bit less sensitive, but that also makes it less feedback prone, which is good. They tend to not need something called phantom power, which makes it simpler because you don't need a preamp to power this. Um, and a lot of times you're not going to get bleed from the other band members. However, that fact depends on a lot more than just whether you have a dynamic or a condenser microphone. It also depends on things like the polar pattern and the sensitivity. So. Um, but just to keep things simple, a dynamic microphone is usually going to be better at feedback rejection um, and at uh, making sure that your other bandmates aren't also getting fed into the microphone during your performance. Um, when we're talking about a condenser microphone, these mics tend to be more sensitive, tend to capture more detail, have a wider frequency range. Um, however, they also tend to be a little less robust than their dynamic brothers and sisters and um, they usually require phantom power so you're going to need a preamp to power this microphone um, and so that's why it tends to be a little bit better in controlled environments like a project studio or a home studio simply because um, it usually tends to be quieter there and you have more control over what the microphone is hearing um, there are a lot of excellent microphones out there and so I would suggest to anybody who's um, in the market for a new microphone is um, if you can, go to the store and test them out for yourself. Just because I have a couple here, I will talk about them. Um, this one here is a totally budget microphone. It's about 20 bucks. It's the K6 dynamic microphone from Five Fine Technologies. It's a dynamic microphone. It's uh, got a big bang for its buck for, for 20 bucks. It's definitely workable. It's not going to compete with a high-end studio microphone by any means, but there's enough detail with this this baby here to um, to be fun to work with. And if you want to hear what it sounds like, I've recorded a song and I'll link it in the description box. And I only used this microphone on the vocals and the guitar so you can hear what this sounds like. One microphone that I tend to use a lot live is the Audex OM7. Um, I tend to use this if I'm playing in a really loud environment or if I know that the speaker situation is kind of iffy and prone to feedback. This is a great one for that. It's great at feedback rejection. It's also great at making sure that your bandmates aren't getting recorded through the microphone phone um, simply because the polar pattern is pretty tight. Um, I really do like this microphone also for my voice. Um, so that's a good choice. 
If you're looking for a good bang for your buck um, with a condenser microphone, the Aston Origin is a really versatile choice, especially if you're just getting started. It's great for vocals, for guitars, for drums, pretty much for, for anything you want. However, there are hundreds and hundreds of great microphones out there on the market. Just because I didn't talk about one of them today doesn't mean that it's not awesome. So if you have any questions about choosing your first microphone, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will try to do my best to help you out. And also if there's anything else that you'd like me to talk about this month during microphone month, feel free to ask me any microphone related questions. In general, I would love to hear from you. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful week and that I'll see you soon for some more Tech Talk time. Bing!